Which side are you on now? Which side are you on? Which side are you on now? Which side are you on? Which side are you on now? Which side are you on? No justice! On Saturday, April 9th, a coalition of environmental activists calling themselves West Virginia Rising blocked the entrance of the Grant Town Coal Plant in an event dubbed the Coal Baron Blockade. About 16 activists were arrested throughout the day. Senator Joe Manchin makes roughly $500,000 per year from Enter Systems Inc., which processes its gob at the Grant Town Coal Plant. Gob is a form of particularly dirty coal that requires greater processing to refine it into usable energy. I am outside today. I am outside today. The Senator Manchin does not care about the climate crisis. I am outside today. Because West Virginians voted for him. So that's why I'm outside. That's why I'm seeking accountability. The protesters wanted to draw attention not only to coal, but Manchin's relationship with big energy. West Virginians are lacking food, shelter, education, and health care. Isn't it sad? But the person that has the ability to save them, to give them grace, the person that's supposed to be fighting for their community does not have their best interest in heart. You know why? Why? You know why? You know why? You know why? Because he is making profit off of their suffering. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! Ahead of the action, I spoke to some of the activists as they gathered at a nearby base camp. My message to Joe Manchin is, do your job, man. Do your job. There are plenty of smart people uh, who can absolutely stand up and advocate for West Virginia and for America, for the working people, for the poor people, even for the wealthy people. You can't just sit there in private meetings with you know, corporate interests and then come out and claim that you can't hear your people. We've been trying to talk to you for months, years, decades, and it's clear that you don't really want to listen. You're running out of time. We're all running out of time, and we're only, we're prepared to only escalate from here. He needs to change his attitude and do something. Do the most important thing for his grandchildren. Fix the climate. So, what are you hoping will uh, come out of it? What are the demands? Um. A better world where like Manchin doesn't get to do whatever he wants and control a lot of the country, where like people um, uh, who like have all this power like don't, and like the people who like actually live here and like care and uh, have been like historically marginalized get us to step back and like be a part of like the rest of the world and decision making and like yeah, a different world. We have called Senator Manchin a lot. We have wrote him a lot. We have. Uh, tried a lot of tactics in West Virginia to get him to hear us and uh, he isn't and you know if Senator Manchin wants to say he's for the coal miners he's not even listened to them you know the United Mine Workers of America released a statement asking Senator Manchin to pass the Build Back Better Act it has great things in it for coal miners for coal communities and he has blocked this really important legislation. I think it's symbolic and really great that now we're going to block what makes Senator Manchin money. When the protesters first began to arrive outside the coal plant on Saturday, Marion County Sheriff Jimmy Riffle, along with a state trooper, spoke to an attorney working with the activists. We absolutely respect your right to peaceful assembly and protest. Yeah. We have no issue. Okay. okay? Uh, we do, however, have issues with trespass or any other breaches of law. Right. Okay. Uh, we understand that. The property from the road, the hard top up to the gate, is property belonging to the power the power plant. Anything here. on the other side of the fence. Well, even the roadway up. 
okay? You know, we're a neutral party, so we're just here to make sure everybody goes home safe. Okay. That's it. <laughs> if someone is in a space that uh, would be considered trespassing, are you going to offer warnings or would you just make arrests? Probably depends on the location, be my guess. You know, if they're cleaned up in here, yeah, they're probably, they get behind this fence, they'll probably be arrested immediately. Right. If they're within a few feet, like he's saying, like state right away, yeah, hey guys, might back it up a little yeah. bit. You know, we're not here, we're not here to arrest him. We hope we don't have to do anything. Yeah, we you hope know. we don't have to arrest him. So. When protesters began their demonstration, they quickly hung a banner on the plant entrance and began blockading. Officers gave them one warning. We're gonna ask you all once, please move beyond the AB PP drive sign and remove the banner or you will be arrested. There's your warning. The group began using the sleeping dragon maneuver a technique where activists chain their hands to one another inside PVC piping to prevent police from easily removing them. On that blue side, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, please, behind that blue side. Back up, please, behind that blue side. Thank you. Do your job. Do your job. In an unusual move, rather than dismantling the contraption on scene, the West Virginia State Police stood the group up and took them away for arrest connected to one another. Make some room so they can get them through here, please. Make some room so they can get through here. Make some room. Make some room. Yeah. I have not come here alone. I carry my people in my bones. Mansion, protect our future. Protect our future and do what's right. Officers seemingly struggled to get them apart. I have a little message for Senator Joe Manchin. I think he knows what he needs to do. I think he has access to the IPCC report that came out this week. And we're all out here to remind him to take a look at that report and then make his decisions about what he is going to support in Washington based on that report. Because that report is science. That report is full of truth and facts. Anything you'd like to add? Uh, just that I live downwind from this plant, and I, it's, just, it's really polluting the atmosphere and everyone around here, so this is not a good way to take care of your constituents, Senator Manchin. What, what do you wish Senator Manchin would do uh, differently if he was to react to this the way that you wish? I think he should find a new line of work. That's my first wish for him. I think he should be aware that he's profiting from the poisoning of his constituents and everyone who lives in adjoining constituencies. I think he should think about whether his fantasy island life of luxury is worth the death and destruction that he is bringing on all of us. Outside the entrance, the rally continued.
Meanwhile, as seen in images later obtained by News to Share, a handful of protesters attempted to flank around to a back entrance of the plant, where they were much more forcefully arrested. <laughs> One participant arriving late to the blockade was handcuffed, but police released her with a warning since she hadn't heard police describe the line that constitutes trespass. Well, this is the consequence, okay? Go ahead and unhook her and, and leave her down. Okay. I haven't had a chance to tell that. Yeah. So. She hadn't had a chance to cut her. Yeah. I don't. I we have we have cutters down there. We'll cut them. Yeah. Okay. okay. We don't want to have to do that, guys. But we don't want anybody closer this way. Okay. So if you just stay where we just you're need at. Need you on that yeah. side of the line. As rain fell on the activists continuing to spend the afternoon making their voices heard in opposition to the coal plant, Dr. Reverend William Barber arrived to join. Thank everybody for being here. Thank you. And, 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 oh, oh man. Here's the speaker. Here's the speaker. Here's the man. You're the one. You're the one. Barbara is a leader with the Poor People's Campaign, a group that frequently participates in nonviolent civil disobedience, usually around issues of poverty. Nobody out. Everybody has a right to live. Together. We win. Together. Strong. Barbara argued that issues of poverty and the environment are indeed one struggle. I believe it's time for us to come together. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta understand there are five interlocking injustices that threaten this democracy. Racism, Talk about it. especially when it comes to systemic voter suppression and mistreatment of our immigrants and mistreatment of indigenous people. Secondly, poverty. Denial of living wages, denial of fair housing. The next one is ecological devastation yeah. and the denial of health care yeah. and the war economy. Yeah. Where we put more war money in blowing up the world rather than saving the world. Yeah. And the false moral narrative of religious nationalism. Yeah. Those are five interlocking injustices. And the only way you can take them down is through an intersectional movement yeah. where we all come together. Yeah. You see, the same people that hurt the environment block health care. Yeah. And the same people that block health care block living wages. Yeah. And the same politicians that block living wages, they tend to block voting rights. Yeah. Yeah. If they are mean enough to be together, we ought to be smart enough to come together. Yeah. Stand for justice. Yeah. We are coming. We are coming. Yeah. We are coming. Yeah. We are coming. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Say it again. We are coming. Say what? Say what? We are coming. Yeah. We are coming. Yeah. Yes, we are. Y'all ready for a new world? We are ready. In the end, about 16 activists were arrested. The plant continues to process the gob Joe Manchin profits from, but the protesters hope the event will gin up outrage and backlash for the Democratic senator from West Virginia and jumpstart momentum for climate change legislation. Ford Fisher, News to Share, for Activism Uncensored, a collaboration with TK News.